U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton has vowed to use any means possible to shield U.S. allies from any investigations instigated by the International Criminal Court. Now, this follows a decision by the U.S. to not cooperate with the Hague-based court, insisting it will protect itself and Israel. It's expected that the ICC could investigate alleged American war crimes in Afghanistan. The Palestine Liberation Organization has also been calling on the ICC to intervene in what it terms human rights violations committed by Israel. Senior Palestinian officials have confirmed that they've been informed of the closure of the Washington diplomatic mission. Let's get you more details on the story now. I'm joined from Washington by CGTN's Daniel Reinches. Daniel, significant developments that could well compromise the legitimacy of the International Criminal Court as well as its operations, particularly in relation or in regard to the United States. Just give us the latest coming out of Washington. Yes, uh, the National Security Advisor John Bolton is just wrapping up remarks here at the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, in which he's essentially broken a major story, which is that he says that the ICC is preparing very soon to launch a formal investigation into allegations that U.S. soldiers and intelligence operators committed uh, war crimes uh, and torture in Afghanistan. And he says uh, that the U.S. has already refused to cooperate with this. On top of that, he is now threatening sanctions on the judges who may be involved in this prosecution, as well as threatening those sanctions. He's also threatening any states that would cooperate with an investigation. And he's promising to do anything within the U.S. powers to try to block and shield any U.S. personnel who might be investigated. Daniel, it seems that the U.S. is taking a very hard line stance against the ICC. Now, we know, of course, that the United States is not a state party to the Rome Statute um, of the International Criminal Court. But would this decision by John Bolton uh, to sanction the court trigger similar sentiments among the U.S. allies? Well, here's the thing, that there is a jurisdictional claim by the ICC if um, the alleged allegations were committed in a country that is a signatory to the Rome Statute, which includes Afghanistan. As to what the possible implications here are, well, uh, John Bolton mentioned that African countries had rejected what he called this neo-colonialism court. So he's sort of siding with some of the African countries that have long been opposed uh, to the ICC. So that may provide some uh, justification for those African countries. At the same time, this is an administration that internationally, with globally orientated countries, is very unpopular. So it could also boost uh, the ICC's credibility amongst those nations, governments, and individuals. So now John Bolton is about to come out from uh, this uh, meeting of the Federalist Society in which he's been basically um, outlining a whole new U.S. strategy that I think is going to put shockwaves through the international community in the coming days. It is challenging the ICC in a way that it's never done before. Indeed it is. Daniel Reinches, thank you so much for following that story uh, for us there from Washington. And as we heard, John Bolton uh, has, uh, of course, confirmed that the ICC will launch an investigation against U.S. activities of soldiers that took place in Afghanistan.